Hello and welcome. I'm Jan Rössler and with this screencast we are going to demonstrate how you can set up a diesel tank fill status sensor in the data manager. The components I use are a Vago 750 I.O. bundle, so this guy here, and a 4 to 20 milliamp ultrasonic sensor, this. The Vago unit is connected to the Ethernet switch where other devices of the installation, for instance the data manager itself, are connected as well. Now I'll start by logging into the data manager with my computer. Once I access the web UI of the data manager, I go to the gear wheel symbol and to device administration. In the device administration dialog, you will find a plus symbol above the device on the right side on which I now click. Once I clicked on the plus symbol, a new window in which I can register new devices opens. There, I am able to choose the device I wish to add. In this example case, as I'm using the Vago device, I choose Modbus devices and click on continue. Then a new window is opened where I should set which kind of Modbus device I have. I choose the Wago I.O. extension bundle 0 to 20 milliamp output. I can also choose the IP address of this device. For standard Modbus devices, the default port is 502 and the default unit ID is 1. But the device name can be adjusted. Once I'm done with this setup, I click on continue. A new window opens where I should choose the bugger device and write the serial number of the device. We propose to use the last digits of the Vago Mac ID as they are printed on the device type label. I am now ready, so I click on save. As the process to add the device is now completed, I can see that the changes are saved and that the Vago device is added to the device list. Now I need to set the parameters of the device itself. For this matter, Click on the device and the device's dashboard will open. In device's dashboard view, I click on the gear wheel of the device so that I can set the I.O. configuration. Under I.O. configuration, I go to the plus symbol situated at the right side. A new window opens where I set the interface to input. Then percent, since I would like to see the fill status in percent. In my case, the linear characteristic curve has 4 milliamps as minimum current value, which corresponds to 0% or tank empty. The 20 milliamps is the maximum current value and this then corresponds to 100% or tank full. An important hint at this stage, for the configuration it is necessary that a valid signal of 4 to 20 milliamps is already connected. Once I have completed this setting, I click on save. In the I.O. configuration overview screen, I can see that the Modbus configuration is now displayed in percent. I can also see in the dashboard that the device status is OK. So it means that in 5 minutes or even faster, I can see my device in the NXOS portal. As a next step, I will sign in the NXOS portal and into my installation. Once I signed into the NXOS portal, I choose my already set up plant, in this case screencast, and go to select device. In the opening drop down list, I can see my Vago device. This means that by selecting the dashboard of the device, it is now possible to see the fuel tank level of my installation's diesel generator. For checking the trend of the fuel tank level, I go to the Analysis symbol and choose Analysis Pro. Within Analysis Pro, I choose my Vago device, so this one has been chosen already, and set the percent symbol, which will then show me the trend of my fuel tank level over time. So today the fuel tank is already empty, but yesterday I had a little bit of fuel tank level left. Now before I go, just one final hint concerning vertical versus horizontal fuel tanks. The ultrasonic sensor, this guy here, can only measure the actual height of the fuel tank level, as I hope you can see in this sketch. Therefore, the percentage value can only be accurate in a vertical fuel tank, whereas the percentage value in a horizontal fuel tank can only be completely accurate at 100%.
50% and 0%.